The video will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video, please follow the link below. Also note that you can post anonymously. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at two CPU coolers from NZXT, the Respire T20 and the Respire T40. First, let me unbox the T20. As you can see, the box itself does have lots of pictures, features and specifications about the product on it. As well, it has plastic wrap on it, so you know it is brand new. Let me cut this off and open it up and see what's inside. Inside, they include a user's manual, a bag, which has pretty much all the components in it that you will need to install the CPU on the socket, as well as some thermal compound, and this fan adapter. This is a three pin fan adapter, and this will reduce the speed of the fan. And they include a back plate. This is the T40, similar box to the T20. Lots of pictures, features, and specifications about the product on the box. And by the way, yes, the box did have plastic wrap on it, but I removed it to speed things up a little bit. On the inside, everything is pretty much the same as the T20, but we have a much larger heatsink on this cooler. Now let's have a closer look at two of these CPU coolers. So we have the T20 on the left and the T40 on the right. These are very similar. Consider the T40 as the big brother to the T20. So what are the differences between them? Well, the T40 has a larger heatsink and the T40 comes with four 8 millimeter heat pipes as opposed to the T20, which has one 8 millimeter and two 6 millimeter heat pipes. And because the T40 has a larger heatsink than the T20, it weighs more. Both of these CPU coolers come with a 120 millimeter fan. Remember that this fan can be reduced in speed by using the low noise adapter that they include. The fan itself has a braided three pin connection. And as I mentioned, both of these have heat pipes. The heat pipes go down through the many fins into this solid copper base. And note that each of these coolers also have protective plastic on it. Remember to remove that when you're installing it. Note how these heat pipes come right down into the base. So these heat pipes will make direct contact with the CPU. Now just compare the base plate difference between the two. The T20 is on the left and the T40 is on the right. Because the T40 has four eight millimeter heat pipes which come down into the base, it covers more area than the T20. Now these fans can be orientated on the other side of the heatsink if preferred as well. They come with rubber mounts to cut down on vibrations. Now let's have a listen to the fan, keeping in mind that the T20 and the T40 use the same fan. Also remember that you could swap the fan if you wanted to and use your own. Some people prefer their own brand of fans, no problem. Just pop that one off and then remove the rubber mounts that they have on there that will reveal the fan screws. Take those out and then mount your own fan to this clip and just pop the fan on. Now let's have a listen to the fan at full speed. And now with the low noise adapter connected. Now I should also mention that when you're installing this, make sure that the fan is pushing the warm air out to the back of the case so that back fan can actually remove the warm air from the inside of the case. <laughs> The 
these are both affordable CPU coolers. So if you're on a budget, this is definitely an option. Now, if you want more performance, go with the T40. But if you want a CPU cooler that's a little bit more compact and lightweight, go with the T20. And by the way, each of these CPU coolers come with a two year warranty. Now, you're probably looking at each one of these heat sinks here thinking, you know what? You could add another fan there. Well, you could, but they do not include any clips to do so. If you're creative, though, it should be no problem putting another 120 millimeter fan on the heat sink. So the T20 gets a great rating and the T40 gets a kick ass rating. Until the next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.